morning and welcome back to the Now Morning Show. It is Tuesday and I told you guys we are talking Karifta Games 2024. So joining us this morning, I have the pleasure of being joined by team manager J. Hugh Gordon, who is also a former Olympian, iconic athlete and leading the charge along with Tafari Waldron, the defending champ for the under 20 boys 5000 meter and team captain of the boys heading into Karifta 2024. So gentlemen, good morning and welcome. Good morning. Good morning, good morning very much, Hainka, and good morning to all the viewers. It is a pleasure to have you guys here. I know it's a strain because we in training sessions and we restless, but we needed to get an update because Karifta Games has had so many big wins for Trinidad and Tobago. So the pressure is on and the people mm -hmm. need a check-in. Yeah. Jehu, this is no new space to you as an athlete, but in your capacity as team manager, mm -hmm. there is a difference. Yeah. Describe to me, first of all, that transition from an athlete to team manager, and then lend, lending support to the team, what that actually looks like. Okay. The transition for me was pretty smooth. Um, as a professional athlete, I got accustomed to a certain service quality. Obviously, we have managers that will take care of our daily needs. We have coaches, we have massage therapists. So basically, my 12 years as a professional athlete has now kind of augured well for a smoother transition to set the expectation on stage, knowing what the athletes expect and what we should put out there to make sure that they are most comfortable. <clears throat> what does it actually look like? Because I could, I could hear a coach saying, you know, train harder, do this differently, do that differently, as you mentioned, massage therapist, or even administrative support, mm -hmm. having specific tasks. What does your day-to-day -day look like with the team itself? My day-to-day? -day? Oh, my day to Or maybe week to week? I don't <laughs> yeah. know how no, it goes. No, no, basically, I have to ensure that all the logistics are in place. The athletes are registered in the right events the necessary um, flight bookings, hotel accommodations, meals, nutritionists, everybody is outlined and carded for the tasks that they have in, in store for them. Once we get to the games to make sure that everything is in place, so ice baths, rooms, all these different things with regards to logistics. So outside of that, once they have everything in place, they'll be most comfortable. They don't need to go to the games and have to worry where we sleep and where we stay and all these different things. A key component that I think a lot of people are uh, on the look or overlook rather. But so far, it must feel kind of nice to have a two-time Olympian, basically, as your caretaker. Eh? <laughs> what is the relationship like between you and Jay Hugh? Um, me and Jay, we have a good relationship since um, last year. Um, so we, we always, I always looked up at him when I was young, coming up. Younger, <laughs> not that old now, but younger. okay. <laughs> when I was a younger runner, I, you know, I used to look at him. I, I saw him win the world champs, saw him win the Olympics. I used to say I want to become at a high level like him. So to have a good relationship with him now at a national athlete, it feels good. I can imagine. I quite like that you said to have a high standard like him and not necessarily be him because you have your own legacy to build. Now, Jehu, as much as you were explaining to me, your past accomplishments with other games yeah. didn't necessarily <coughs> impact your position right now. It definitely contributes, I imagine. A lot of the times when we talk about going towards these games, we know the prep is extensive, but we also know there's a lot that is needed. So I'm asking... Probably a little bit of a controversial question, but what are some sure. of the challenges that you guys still face in the lead up to that Karifta kind of mm -hmm. Games? I know you, yeah. you knew this was coming. Um, I wouldn't say we've had that many challenges in the lead up to the Karifta Games, you know. Beautiful. Yeah, we have a very good support team. Um, well, the entry is with some of its key sponsor, the NGC, the sports company, Ministry of Sports, Puma. I think they've all done their part. Um, this year we were able to put on four successful training sessions. We were able to head out to Tobago. We just came back from Tobago yesterday morning actually for team preparation with regards to our relay teams. It is something that Trinidad and Tobago has been pretty successful in over the years. Mm -hmm. Outside of that, we are seeing a resurgence of middle distance running, which to Farai, if you follow middle distance, Mo Farai is a pretty successful athlete. So I kind of refer to him <laughs> um, subliminally sometimes as Mo Farai instead of to Farai. Right. And he is a new wave and a new generation of athletes coming up. And with his recent successes, that is why he has also been named as the team captain. So we have not had many setbacks in preparations thus far. That's beautiful to hear. Now, uh, if I may, more far, <laughs> tell me a little bit about your role as team captain then. 
Jehu has already set the stage of you being an exemplary athlete. But what does that mean to you? How do you execute that towards your fellow teammates? Um, ever since I became a national athlete, I always wanted to be a leader on a national team. It was just a matter of time until it happened. So now, finally, it's my last year I finally get to be the team captain. So I just want to make sure everybody motivated and focused and go out and do what they have to do and come home with as much medals as we can. So it's a very, um, it's, I feel proud of myself to be able to accomplish to be team captain finally. Absolutely, absolutely. As many medals as we could possibly get. And mm -hmm. in terms of Carifta Games, what are our records or standings like now? This is mm -hmm. one of the larger contingents yeah, we yeah. sent out, right? So yeah, that would mean our chance is kind of better, right? You, you would hope so. Um, the bigger numbers don't necessarily mean better quality. Mm. Um, we are having some kind of paradigm shift in the sports right now, but as mentioned, we are seeing a resurgence. So our Carifta medals tally record is 40 medals. That was my last team, actually. In 2010, we attained 40 medals. Last mm -hmm. year, we got 24. But my aims for this year would be to surpass that 24 for sure because the quality has definitely risen this year. What can we, the citizens, the supporters, ultimately, mm -hmm. do to help achieve that? The do support at all? I don't think the supporters can do anything to, for us to achieve that. Um, you know, we always complain about supporters, but I think the athletes need to understand. The athletes need to have that internal drive, understand the task that is at hand, and once we go out to represent the red, white, and black, it is a pleasure, and it is not an entitlement to represent Trinidad and Tobago. It's a privilege. So once we go out there, it is to bleed red, white, and black, and leave your best on the line. Mm, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but granted, though, that after Carifta Games, I mean, you said this is your last Carifta, but there are other things that you're looking forward to. Tafari, where will we see you next? I'm um, planning to go to the pen relays to do the mile. Um, I want to go to Nakak Seniors as well. Mm -hmm. I already run the qualifying standards, so I just want to continue cutting down the times to be able to match the competition out there. Um, and hopefully I can cut down my time to the qualifying standard for the whole under 20 champs as well. I just want to go as much teams as I could and continue getting faster. I love that for you. Now, Jehu, in terms of being team manager, that's one role. We still see or we saw you taking on the world of perfumes, if you will. Any other <laughs> endeavors I can look forward to seeing you in, in the near future? Plenty, but I can't talk about it right oh, now. Oh, man. <laughs> now, when you say that, that usually means there are big contracts yeah. that need to be signed still. So, big things are going on? Yeah, just my own personal investments that mm. are actually going on behind the scenes. But once it's up and running, I could probably talk about it a little more. Okay, I'm going to ask for one more clue, right? Like, like those game shows. <laughs> Is it still in the realm of sport? Or are we looking outside of that? One of, one of those are, yeah. One. All right, I'll stop pressing you till <laughs> in the morning. Sure. And as far as dates and games go, are there any dates that we should note at our calendar so we could check in with you guys, watch races, see okay. more far in full flight? So we <laughs> actually know. depart Trinidad on Tuesday afternoon. We get into Grenada just around after three. The sports kicks off on Saturday. And by Tuesday, we are back home. It finishes on Monday. So Saturday, Sunday, Monday, those are the three days enlisted to, for the career after games. To you, well, let me wish you the best of luck to both yourself as manager, to you as team captain and as one of the shining athletes, and of course to the team entirely as you all do us proud. Congratulations in advance, speaking it into being. And we're saying what, 24 and more? Two, oh, 30 and more. Yeah, yeah, all right, there you have it. <laughs> Jay Hugh oh, Gordon, gosh. the team manager, and of course Safari Waldron, the defending champ for the under 20 boys, 5,000 meter, as they head off to the Carifta Games in Grenada this week to represent the red, white, and black. Thank you very much for checking with us, gentlemen. Best of luck again. And I wear my sneakers, so I might hit the track with you all. I'm lying, never mind. <laughs> Guys, we stick around because more action is happening here on the Now Morning Show. We'll be back after these messages. There's a champion in me.